Outside waiting to be triage. As y'all can see, I am in um, getting my images done, and I had to go through all of that just to get here. They got us taped off, so like we can't sit together down there and over here too. This is where I'm gonna go to get my images done. And they're gonna call me by my number. I mean, my number and I'm a letter, I believe. Why are they back there playing Drake? That's funny to me, but I made it here after the crazy um, way of getting around because um, there was no parking. I had to like really turn around and come back, so it was kind of crazy, but I made it here. I'm ready to get these things over with, and then after that, I'm heading back to the house. So. But yeah, they even have it like right next to me. Nobody can sit next to you. So that's, that's interesting, so. Okay. Got my MRI done, made it back in the car, safe and sound. Uh, that was an experience. So now I'm about to head back post so did the post office check nothing was there at least for me anyway nothing was there and now I'm just about to head back to the house and rest because my back <laughs> something to eat like a little salad and now i'm out here trying to find something to eat guess where i am in the garage yeah um just trying to find something from the kids to actually eat i'm hoping that we have some um hamburger meat so i make some spaghetti but um yeah so I meant to vlog as soon as I got in the house, but apparently I forgot. My son started bombarding me with a bunch of words and 
missing you and where did you go and what happened and all that fun stuff that kids ask when you know you're coming home um of course you know he asked me about his skittles i did get some skittles um, while i was in the px and i got like some gatorade nothing spectacular so now i'm out here digging in the scene Trying to find some spaghetti, um, not spaghetti, find some hamburger meat for some spaghetti. I hope I have some. Cross your fingers. Did manage to find some hamburger meat. So I'm going to make some spaghetti. Just have to uh, get set up. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. It has been served and the kids are eating. Even though my living room is like an absolute mess. But you know what? That's why they're going to clean up by themselves. I'm going to attempt to make my son a graduation cap for his little last day of class tomorrow. Um, the parents collectively thought it would be very nice just to give them something ceremonial to, you know, congratulate them. And wanting them to be a part of the class of 2020 for coming out of the little short start program or the hip start program. If some people may see it that way into kindergarten. So, I have my construction papers. I pray to God I can only do this one time. I got my glue stick, scissors, and I'm going to use this along with some yellow pieces of paper to try to make the tassel. Real off of YouTube to uh, try to make my son's cap um, for his class, so y'all bear with me. <laughs>
So I'm not cute. Oh. <laughs> no. I'm not cute. You're not what? cute, patootie. What are you? A man. Oh, a cutie. You're not a cutie, patootie. You say you a what now? A man. Tell me what you are. You're not a cutie, patootie. You are a what? A man. Right. He's a man. He, he's I a man. I finished the cat. And um, my first cap didn't look well, but this is the second finished product. I'm trying to make this tassel look like a tassel, but this is very thin yarn. And I was going to try to do something with the construction paper, but I don't know how I would do that. So his, his uh, class of 2020 hat is uh, made. I might just put like a little decoration around it or something. But this is his little graduation cap for his little ceremony tomorrow in school. I'm very proud of myself. Hey, you know what I'm thinking about? I should make me one too because um, actually I graduated a whole lot dealing with this um, virus and dealing with the, the, the classes. Hold on, sir. Don't mess this hat up. You waiting this tomorrow for Miss H. Can you want to put it in here one more time? Looks good, kid. Looks real good. Look, I'm a cute attorney now. You are cute. We're going to get you dressed up. You gonna... No, that's the tassel. It has to stay on there. I know I'm a cute attorney. Yeah. But why are you calling me a cute attorney? Because you're, you have a cap for your for you completing your um your your program. What? Yeah, you do. No, I just gotta let it dry to make sure it stays so Miss H can see your your wonderful Hi. Hi. your wonderful cat. Really? Anyway. So I might just bedazzle this and make it have some extra off to the tassel. We'll see, I don't know. Going to color this card that he will give to his teacher even though really I'm the one giving it to him because we have to go to the school to collect like their stuff they left in the classroom ever since this whole quarantine started so this is color I have a paper uh, poster back here that I have to print out the stuff to actually do the um, decorations on and then when the sun's done I'm going to let him take a picture with all of that on so baby can see everybody can see my baby So his card is done. I did my own lamination, aka scotch tape. Came out pretty right, and he also signed it. I know. Yeah. So I'm mad. Okay. I took my time to find little stickers that I could print out on the printer to put on my baby sign, so he can hold it up and take a picture tomorrow, or whatever. Why my printer would not recognize the ink that was bought and it printed out yesterday, no problem, no big deal. Now, all of a sudden, it can't find the cartridge that goes along with it, and making me mad because now my baby just got a little basic sign. I mean, I did a little stars on it or whatever, but I was trying to make it look a little bit more, you know, festive. You know, I ain't got no big card. Uh, but I can't even speak now. I ain't got no big, you know, thing or whatever. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just find some little things on there. I can, like, 
color it in and you know glue it to his little thing and be done with it but no the printer wanted to go haywire and did not and i repeat did not want to did not want to find the ink that works for the printer like it's already in there what are you talking about it doesn't work who are you Anyway, it's late, like almost one o'clock in the morning late, and I have given up the battle to try to fix the printer with the ink cartridge situation, like whatever, I ain't even tripping no more. Whatever. I'm just going to have my baby hold up his sign, let him take a picture with his, his, his cap, and we're just going to be very happy people that he made it through this source start program and with the whole virtual school situation because we already know how crazy that is and we just gonna call it a day because like i am literally mad at this printer like i'm mad at this printer at this point it don't make no sense because see look at this don't mind that. That's one of my favorite shows, LeVar and Shirley, whatever. We're gonna do it. Anyway, um, this is my printer. But this paper, this is the printer that I have, right? Been rocking with it for a while. It's wireless, you know. It can scan, whatever. And, like, you know, connect to my phone, you know, or my tablet. You know, been working with us fine. Got the right ink cartridge or whatever. But all of a sudden, out of blue act crazy like you don't know that the ink cartridge is in there or whatever so needless to say i can't print out what i want to print out and put on my baby sign or whatever but it's cool he's still gonna be looking cute you know um enjoying the last day of school this uh, last day of his program i'm not exactly sure how the um short shot program well i know how the short shot program goes but i'm not exactly sure how the kindergarten program goes due to the fact that you know um i've heard and i don't know if that's true that um kindergarten will start till september supposedly i don't know but of course we're gonna find that out and then on friday i have to take back um the tablet that we borrowed from the school. Thank God for letting us borrow the tablet for school for the kids. Um, I got to pick up um, stuff that my kids left in their classroom. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to give the cards that the kids made. The teachers give that to them or whatever. Got to pick up medicine from the nurse that, my, you know, for my son that was down there while he was in school. Um, so, needless to say, I am so happy that the virtual school is over and um I, I i found it to be very interesting that you know these kids were very trained now more so technology wise because now you know they really don't have to be in school and with this whole corona thing we don't even know when it's going to be like okay y'all can go out and be mask free glove free Nobody knows that, so that's going to be another. It is almost 1 o'clock in the morning. No, it is 1 o'clock in the morning. You up here eating cheese. You don't forget you got school tomorrow. I eat cheese. Yeah, you may eat cheese, but you don't eat cheese right now. Are you kidding me? Because you're supposed to be asleep right now. Why are you getting the cheese? Eat cheese? You're eating cheese and it's 1 o'clock in the morning. You need to go to bed. Okay. Don't go to bed. That's not what you should not do. Because if you don't go, I'm going to put you there voluntarily. What are you eating cheese for? I cooked. 
cooked. Y'all saw. I cooked. I cooked. Rewind the tape. Rewind the tape. Because I cooked. And I cooked. And I gave them spaghetti with the meatballs. Both of them had about three plates a piece. And she talking about she's still hungry. For why? For why? Okay, well, I'm gonna let y'all know right now. This ain't gonna end pretty. She done lost her mind. You done had three plates of spaghetti. Before I got home, you had the little tortito pizza bites and fries. And then you got nerd to eat some more. So hi. So why? <laughs> this is why I need my own vacation away from my kids. Thanks to Corona, the only places I can go is to doctor's offices in the post and back home. Because if I'm caught anywhere else, I can get in trouble. I'm gonna have to pray. I'm tired. I have already done a little cleaning for what I can do. I'm about to call it a night. It's like 120, 120. Oh, I need to go to sleep. 112 in the morning. Um, I had a very interesting day today. As you can see, I went to get an MRI. I would have filmed a lot more, but they were moving me extremely fast. And on top of that, they were speaking Italian, and I had to use my phone to do a lot of translating to get the right picture in order because I don't know what they were saying to me. I had to make sure they weren't telling me to stand on my head because I don't do that. But um, I do got I do we'll see. I really need to go to sleep. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, get hit that bell button right there to get more um videos to know to be notified. Um. I will probably insert pictures of my son with his cap on, holding his sign. Um, most likely I will insert the pictures at the end of this video. So, But I thank you for watching. I will see you next time on my next vlog. I'm sleepy. Bear with me. Love y'all. See y'all next time. <laughs>